Good morning, everyone. This is Jeffy Kennedy, author of fantasy, romance, and romantic fantasy. I kind of put a comma in there. I'm here with my first cup of coffee. Today is a very special episode of First Cup of Coffee because today is Wednesday, March 9th, my mother's birthday. Woo! Everyone say happy birthday, Kathy. It's a big birthday. We're not saying which one. Um, and I am not with her today, but I thought I would do instead a special podcast for her today. Those of you who listen regularly know that uh, my mother is the reason I keep doing this podcast. All of you are wonderful. You're all amazing. I like doing the podcast. Uh, there's a lot of good reasons to keep doing it, but my mom is the one who keeps me going at it because she would pitch a fit if I stopped. In fact, she hates that I skip Wednesdays on the podcast. I'm supposed to blog on Wednesdays, and so I don't do the podcast on Wednesdays. I blog at SFF7 and on my own website, I cross post. And so when I text my mom a good morning on Wednesdays, she will often, if not always, comment. (sighs) How sad. Today is Wednesday. No podcast. Who knew that this podcast would be my mother's favorite thing in the world? And yet it is. I think she thinks of it as spying on my life, as all good mothers love to do. And my mother is a good mother. She is um, a wonderful mother. I am very blessed to have uh, in my mother someone who is also a friend. Um, And when I say we've been together all my life, which we have, but uh, I think we are unusually close because after my father died when I was three, plane crash, we, um, it was just the two of us for a long time. And she remarried when I was seven But for those four years, although she dated some here and there, a merry widow, not so merry. There were a couple of um, pretty bad years, but I was uh, young to remember it. But she eventually remarried because my mother is a very resilient person. In fact, I think that part of my belief in love comes from my mother. Although she and I do not agree on romance novels, I have gotten her to read some over time. And she does read my books. Or she pretends to. She buys them all. And that's what's important. She sent me a photo um, last week on the release of Grey Magic showing uh, the arrival of the print copy. And she has a shelf of my books in her uh, library in the guest room. So my mother has always been tremendously supportive. She, um, from my earliest days, told me that I could do anything I wanted to do. And even though at times I think it was difficult for a widowed single mother to be uh, saddled with a precocious child who learned to read when I was four from Sesame Street, uh, she sent me to school a year early so that somebody else could answer my questions. It was a great call. Uh, yeah, we, we've been through a lot together. She was married to her second husband for almost 35 years. I think that's right. uh, And was widowed a second time. She is now married for a third time to a wonderful man. And I think it is partly my mother's belief in, in love, in happiness, in making a good life that has really informed my own life. She is someone beloved by many friends, a source of joy to all kinds of people. And though I think the things that she has gone through would have uh, made a different person more bitter, less happy, she has never let anything get her down. She, uh, She goes on. She keeps a beautiful house with lots of art and she enjoys going out to dinner and she enjoys having her cocktail every evening. Uh, We sometimes text each other at five o'clock 
you know, do you have your cocktail in hand? And it's, it's a celebratory, wonderful part of the day. My mother's very good at making everything into a celebration. So although she was very firm about not wanting to celebrate today, um, big birthday, they come. And we say it's better than the alternative. But, you know, sometimes those big birthdays hit you hard, right? So I respect that. I respect that she uh, did not want to celebrate on this particular day, but we will celebrate at other times in other ways. So um, here is a special podcast just for you, Mom, coming out to you with love and with wishes for many happy returns. Love you, Mom. Take care and happy birthday. Bye-bye.